Here we're going to show that labor demand curves are homogeneous to degree zero. A competitive firm has the following production function. Q output equals 2 times the square root of labor, where L is units of labor. The firm faces a price for its product equal to P, and the firm pays a wage W. We want to show that the labor demand curve is homogeneous to degree zero. So the first thing we need to do is derive labor demand. And when a firm is hiring the optimal number of workers, the value of the marginal product of labor equals the wage. The value of the marginal product of labor is price times the marginal product of labor. So we need to get the marginal product of labor, which is the derivative of this production function with respect to labor. And doing the math here, we bring down the one-half on the exponent on L down in front. So one-half times two will disappear. And then on this exponent here, one-half, we subtract one. And so we can just move that negative exponent into the denominator. So instead of writing L to the minus one-half power, I'm just going to write one divided by L to the one-half power. Substituting everything into our Substituting everything in into our equilibrium condition, price times the marginal product of labor equals the wage. And now we're going to just solve for L. So I multiplied through by L to the one-half power. So now we have this expression. And now dividing everything through by W, we get this. Getting rid of this one-half over here in the exponent, we're going to square both sides. And here is our labor demand equation. If P and W are increased, say, by alpha, so we're going to increase P and W proportionally here by some constant alpha, our new labor demand, L nu, equals the following. I'm going to factor out now an alpha. So alpha squared here in the numerator, alpha squared here in the denominator. This will simplify to alpha raised to the power of zero. And that tells us that labor demand curves are homogeneous to degree zero. So this exponent here on alpha is zero. So we got homogeneous to degree zero labor demand curves, labor demand functions. And the last thing if we want we can do here is this P divided by W, all of that squared is just L. So L nu equals L. So in other words, if we're to double the price and if we're to double the wage, the firm would continue hiring the same number of workers. So to sum up, if the price and wage increase by the same proportion, the labor demand remains unchanged, homogeneous to degree zero. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.